Hello people, hello people, what is going on? Mr. Challenge GS coming at you all the way from Epsilon. Whoa, 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 this is not Epsilon. This doesn't look like Dofus Touch at all. What's going on here? Well, folks, today, you know, we're just going to be chilling on PC. We're, uh, something I want to do, especially with the advent of Unity and, and the game getting a whole revamp, is I want to get more familiar with the PC side of things. Uh, that's not to say that, you know, Dofus Touch is my home. I love that game. You know, I give it a lot of tough love. I love a lot of things that Dofus Touch does, but also, you know, I am at a point where Dofus Touch is not really offering anything new uh, to my gameplay experience. It's a cool game. I love it. But, you know, Unity is around the corner and I do. I thought it would be so cool to get my characters all the way to level 200 finally after I don't know how many years. So here I am with my Saram. This is the OG Challenger EX. Uh, this guy is from like 2006, 2007, I don't know, somewhere in there. This guy is old. He is ancient. That's why he's a skeleton. Uh, but you know what? I never got him to level 200. Uh, I got him to 170 in the 170s. So I thought it would be so, so cool to finally get him and the team I had him with to level 200 and just get familiar with the uh, PC side of things. And and the cool part about this is that I'll be able to speak more about the, I'll, I'll, be, I'll be able to weigh in more with stuff that relates stuff as touch and PC and how they compare it to each other, how these guys are doing that, these guys are doing this, and maybe this should be done this way, right? Uh, just getting familiar with the overall, you know, uh, mechanics and systems over here. So this video is pretty much going to be me just kind of messing around in here, just trying to get familiar with the mechanics, the spell system here. This is going to be a PC and chill type of stream. Uh, obviously, you know, I've dabbled here and there with PC, but all this stuff is just so foreign to me. I don't know. I don't know what's going on over here. Uh, I've, I've half like popped in here and there on occasion, but nothing, nothing really crazy or long term. Like all this stuff is from when I was playing in, you know, the late 2000s. Like these gub tubbies, right? I remember you would get these when you would sub for like a week or something. You were just getting them as a little gift. So obviously you have a ton of these. Uh, let me see what else I got in here. We're just going to be exploring. Oh, look at that. So these guys are yellow over here. Weird, but cool. Uh, you got a bunch of resources over here. So this stuff I got from pets. Uh, I don't know if this is enough to like level a pet up to like maximum but if you're from PC and you guys have any opinions any uh, suggestions you know I would love to hear it in the comments uh, key items nothing too crazy in there some cosmetics yeah so I did uh, you know back when I was getting into toughest touch and I was being indecisive I was like oh should I play PC should I play touch I did run it to the point where I got the silver dofus but that was the extent of it. That was the extent of it. Um, you know, strength and intelligence. I've, you know, I've always ran my Saram from day one as a hybrid uh, strength agility build. And, you know, I've, I, I stuck with it even with touch up until recently because the Saram did get like a little revamp. Uh, and I finally switched to full strength on touch, but here, from what I gather, the, the game is pretty, uh, what, what do I want to say? The game is pretty, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? So here, because you don't have skill points anymore, you could dabble a lot into like other elements just because uh, you don't have to commit up front with like you don't have to have a lot of foresight right you have everything unlocked already so the game is very welcoming and for for you to experiment with different things which i do love 
right from this like uh, each kind of spell has like two modes to it at times it changes elements uh, let me see if i can find an instance here so repelling trap right uh, you can have repelling trap or you could do frightful trap which is super cool right you can pick and choose and there's a lot of you can play around with spells here which i do love obviously i'm not level 200 so i don't have everything unlocked but you know we work with with what we got uh special spells even these things are crazy here too uh arachne it's got two modes got arachne and major arachne this is what i thought was interesting weapon skill a uh, weapon skill uh you know it just acts as regular weapon skill but also like the i don't know what it, are, are these called like alt mode is that what they're called base spell base spell i don't know i don't know what these are called two mode I, i'm gonna call them alt modes or alt spells i don't know hey, you guys correct me in the comment section uh, but this is cool weapon clumsiness for two turns as the castle suffers weapon damage reduce their attackers weapon damage so it's like a reverse weapon skill minus minus 10 percent weapon damage so this is pretty cool um I don't know how useful it would be in PVM, but Bird Pie? Is this Leak Pie? Oh yeah, all the names here are different too. <laughs> uh, and we'll go through it. Like I said, we're this is just gonna be me spitballing over here, just going through all this, just kind of showcasing the differences. Cause I, again, uh, this continues to be a Dofus Touch channel. Yes, I'll dab into PC Dofus, Unity, Wave, and stuff like that. But you know, Touch is my home. Touches my home, and um, but it's good to you know just get out there, look at different things, and see what we learn. So yeah, so this is leak pie. So bird pie, what does this do? Inflicts damage in the caster's worst attack element. Leak pie. Oh no way, no way. Leak leak pie is actually a usable. It, it, it's a generic generic spell like it it's this how long has this been like this so leak pie inflicts damage in the caster's best attack element that is cool that is so cool because i always thought it was so weird to have leak pie locked behind one particular element which is which it still is on touch right so it's like it, it's like it's not fair that intelligence gets like this extra spell and, and it's not really usable unless you want to just like ping something. But Leak Pie, uh, you know, once you level it up and you're actually an intelligence build, it's it's a decent like poking spell. It's, it's not like just a pinging. It's like you actually, it, it does pretty good damage for 2 AP. Uh, it's Moon Hammer generic. Inflicts air damage and reduces range. Nope. Dark, darkly moon hammer. I don't know what darkly is. Inflicts air damage and steals range. So this one steals and this one reduces. Interesting. Yeah, this is super cool. We're gonna jump in here, folks. We are gonna jump in here. You know, my Seraph's not equipped. Isn't it? You know, he's got the poor man get up. Nothing crazy, but he's he's functional. He's functional. Uh, it'd be cool to get him all the way up to like, you know, get 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 him really OP and badass. Uh, here, let's just start messing around here. Gaster, ga gangster dawn. Inflicts earth damage and increases the power of the caster's trap. Is this a uh, deviousness? It uh, it looks like it. Okay. Skip any turn. Okay. Uh, yeah. So it's just a range. I guess it's yeah. I guess it's a deviousness. Was that the name right? Okay. Yeah. We're gonna have to go through this because this looks like tricky blow. But this is a deviousness. 
I guess I changed the name on it. Yeah, Tricky Blow Stove. Alright. Alright, pretty cool. Okay, so this. So yeah, so I do want to go just maybe just full earth on, on the ceram here. So it looks like So if I do this. Okay, okay. So if I push this guy to the trap this uh, 503. But if I hit him with if I hit him with the gangster. Uh, did that not increase it? Okay, okay, hold on. 503. If I hit him with this. Wait, I thought I was supposed to increase my damage. Alright, am I doing something wrong here? So do I hit him first? Is that the first? Do that. Five oh three. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> uh, how is that? It should increase the damage, right? Okay, let's try this one more time. Five for three. Do I do I do this on trap? Is that what's going on? No, the effect's on me. Okay. I'm still showing the same range, so I don't know if I'm doing that wrong, but uh, we'll move on. Uh, lethal attack. It looks like it's just regular lethal attack. Okay, uh, does that have any special things going on? Inflicts earth damage, the damage is greater on targets with less than 25% of their health points. Thus, lethal attack. That is pretty straightforward, pretty cool. So, uh, fun fact. When I saw this spell being used, I thought it was like the most epic thing ever. And this is why I went with Saram. And, and this is why Saram became my favorite class. It was just because of this spell animation right here. I thought it was so cool. Uh, pretty cool. Alright, let's check out Arsenic. Is this Insidious Poison? Because that's what it looks like. Applies uh, start of turn air poison. That's what it okay. Insidious poison. And it looks like insidious poison. Uh, this is stack. Yes, it does. There you go. Pretty cool. A con. I think this more or less yeah, for linear, more or less. Use twice. But the and it steals agility. Okay, that's cool. So going back to touch, I do like what they did with the whole contract system they they put into the ceram. I thought it was so like in flavor and thing with the, with the class, but it looks like here there's no contract mechanic. See, this is what's cool. The whole contract thing is like unique to touch, and I, I love it. But here, yeah, it looks like Khan just steals agility right off the bat. A mistake. So mistake. I. I I love this spell in uh, Dofus Touch. But here it looks like so in Dofus Touch, mistake is a. Uh, a close combat spell. It's it's like this, right? It it's an AOE around yourself and that was it but here it is an agility spell and it's it's a range one too it's kind of funky but it's actually kind of cool an erosion okay so it more or less acts like the touch one uh except it's just a single element uh chakra concentration uh, let me see, applies target, steals HP, 
and the caster's best element. I, I've always thought this should have been like this on touch. Uh, just because like... Uh... Let me see. If I do that, if I do this... Uh, just because like I having that spell, you know, just be exclusive to one branch, I think it was such a a loss for the other branches that use traps. But this is this is cool because like I wanted to go earth, right? So now I could I could like steal health. If you guys can tell, I'm like so super excited. So this is 419. Oh, hold on. Yeah, see? I could take advantage of my earth, earth traps and this is cool. Okay, this is stuff, definitely something I'll, I'll be using. Tricky trap. Uh, I think this more or less acts the same, right? Yep, it just kind of pulls you in. Can you do two a turn? Double three. Okay, can you chain them together? All right, pretty cool, pretty straightforward. Uh, weapon skill, it's pretty straightforward. Okay. Okay. Can we get a crit? All right, there we go. There. All right. Fear, we kind of messed with that already. Uh, what is this? Malevolent trap. Uh, this we don't have in touch. Place us a trap that inflicts earth damage. The spell damage is increased for each enemy in a two cell circle around the trap. Okay. Okay. This, this looks like it's. Uh... Might have to go fight some monsters. If I push him here, 334. I like the animation though. All right, that's pretty sure I get, I get it. I don't think I could demonstrate that here, but I get it. Lethal trap. The damage is greater on entity with entities with less than 20. Okay, so it's like, it's like a trap version of lethal attack. Okay. A uh, repelling trap. Uh, I think this is pretty much more or less the same. Okay. Mass grave. Mass grave, mass grave. And this is, okay, paralyzing trap. You know what? This is so funny. I always thought paralyzing trap should, uh, should put you in gravity state. I, I've always had that thought. Okay, so this is AOE. AOE. So I guess anything in that range, if it gets, let's see, if it gets triggered. Gravity state. Super cool. This is awesome. And I can do it once. You know, there's a cooldown. Okay. Plotter. Uh, Some is a double. It is an attack and it dies. All right, so we just have to change on touch. Uh, inflicting damage on the caster's best element. I, ooh, I'm, I'm digging this so far. Uh, the damage on the damage on the death of the pot increase with each of the caster's trigger traps. Hmm. Increases Potter's basic damage by eight infinite. 20, 26 to 30. Okay, okay, you know what? Let's mess with this. Let's mess. Okay, so if I put this guy out. Okay, can we alright, let's let's get fancy here. So I put let's put this guy out. Okay, what does he have? Explosion, two turns. Okay, so if I start setting up a trap network here. So let's do that. Let's push him over there. We'll do this. Okay. 
Okay, it's not pulling up yet. So if I do this here, and then we blow them up. Oh, no more. And then we do this. Okay, and then we trigger some traps. Uh, alrighty, that didn't work. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's do it again. Whew, that guy. That guy died pretty quick. Alright, so let's, um, let's get this guy out of here. Well, let's do this this way. Okay, let's put this guy out. Put him there. Put him there. So now, what do we see here? Uh, explosion damage increased by 40. All right, so. Then we put him here. Oh, it's infinite. Okay, so you don't have to do it. You don't have to time it. So, so we could keep pushing those. And then he blows up over here. Pretty cool. All right, I get that. I get that. I don't know how uh, functional that is in, in a fight, but it's cool. So it looks like Earth. So Earth does want to play around with traps a little bit then. Uh, let's see. Perquisition. Repels a target and inflicts fire damage on enemies. Repels a target. It's a diagonal. Okay, so it depends on the angle on it. Oh, okay, okay, all right. Just shoved them. <laughs> okay, so if I'm straight here, this is cool. <laughs> yeah, I, this is cool. So, so this is what I like about like this kind of spell system they use on PC, because even though, uh, obviously I'm gonna go strength and maybe agility, splash some agility in there. Like this is, this turns into just like a, a utility spell where I, if I need to like, just shove something in a particular direction. So say, let me see, say I need to, Let's see, I want to do that here. So if I shove on diagonal, it's gonna go in here. Okay, get the push here, and then I guess I'll shove here and here again twice, and then we get. Let's just do that. And this is three AP, okay. All right, cool. Evasion. Uh, this is completely new to me. Uh, makes the target, makes the targeted ally unlockable and applies the evasion state on him. Moves the target away from its attacker. Uh, makes it invisible. Is this the same spell that Super Badger uses in Fanks and in, in the uh, Frigos? <laughs> oh man, guys, I, I am digging this. Uh, the, the Bowker's movement does not inflict any damage. Okay, so can I use this on myself? Ooh, and I like that. Anime. Okay, so if somebody hits me in close combat, I step back, right? And I go invisible and I get, how, this is OP. 
Okay, I'll definitely be using this. Okay, super cool. What is this? Water, of course. We don't have water ceramics on, on touch. Places a single cell trap that attracts entities towards the center and inflicts water damage. Okay. So this is this is a little bit funky to me because like it shows like this giant trap. All right, uh, it shows a cross, right? Like an X. But the only active spot is the center. So, so what's kind of funky to me is like it shows like that. Okay, so let's place it right. So once you once you place it on the map, it only shows this here. But the AOE is actually out here. Um, okay, so let's you know let's shove you. Can this twice? I can. Ooh, yeah, that's cool. So if I step on it here, even though it doesn't visually show he's like in inside like the area of effect. It's still pretty cool. Super cool. Okay, let's see what, uh, what else we got here. Drift trap. Places a trap that inflicts fire damage on enemies and pushes entities away from the center. So is this like a tricky trap? A diagonal? It is. That is cool. It's a diagonal tricky trap. You know, this is, this is gonna be hard. Like, like it seems like all these spells are so usable. Like regardless of like what what element you play. Uh, let me see what we got here. Cruelty. Inflicts water damage and gives the caster 1 MP. You know what? This might be the first spell one. Kind of like, eh. It, it just reminds me of uh, Avatar The Last Airbender. It's like, oh, what? Like, why would a Saran be waterbending? <laughs> uh, yeah, this is the first spell where I, like, I'm like, yeah, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. Uh, it's cool, though. It's cool, but I'm not feeling it. Uh, con. I think we, look, we looked at that already. Uh, Mary Trap. Places a trap that inflicts water damage. Heals allies. Interesting. By up to 50% of the damage inflicted on the entity that triggers it in a two cell. Okay. So let's put it here. I do like how, how uh, like the, uh, the outlines are like thematic to like the element. You know what, do I have? Pfft, tactical mode, there we go. So what does this thing do again? No, I can do two. He was Alex up to 50 damage. A trigger in a two in a two cell circle around itself. Okay, so if I Okay, so I see. Like it shows the animation where So if somebody let me see. Oh, you know what? I think we could test it out. So let's put this guy out here. Okay. So, okay, so now if I push this guy here, there we go, okay, pretty straightforward, pretty cool. Furl, steals intelligence, oh, another stealing thing, and inflicts fire damage in an area of effect, does not affect the caster. All right, so it's like a little ring. It looks like it's just a direct damage, right? Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Let's. All right. So let's. Uh, okay. 
So it looks like I can do some fancy stuff for when it comes to mobility too. So if I put a drift trap here. No, okay. Let's see if I want to get over here somewhere. I could do a drift trap. Gonna push me out, and I could do that, and do that. If I go here, look at that I slip and slide. Okay, let's try it again. Yeah, I really have to like reorganize these these spells. So Jeff trap. Let's see if I could get to that. Let's see how close I could get to that thing. It's gonna push me here. Is there any other trap that's gonna... No, I think that's it. Uh, here, let's. Uh, I still wish I knew how this thing worked. Oh, this we didn't take a look. malevolent trap. Oh, we did take a look at it. Uh, what else we didn't we take a look at? Oh, shakedown's another earth spell. Okay, so let's. Um, <laughs> I got I got used to. Um, tra a lethal trap not being linear, which is a which was a very welcome change, on touch. Let's just beat this guy up here and we'll play around with some of the other spells. Like this uh punching bag taking like forever to kill. Okay, there we go. So we got the spells. Pitfall. Pitfall increases pitfall's basic damage by eight. Uh the spell's damage increased for each of the casters. Uh traps that is triggered effects are removed after the Spell has been used. So is this like a finisher? No, we'll mess with that. We'll mess with that. Um, okay. So this is pretty much tricky below. Cutthroat. Increase of the casters and allies power. So is intelligence like some more support? No, I don't know. Um, if you guys know like the archetypes for like the Saram, uh, what is this here? Increases the casters and, and their allies power in a two cell circle around the caster. You know what? We'll We'll, we'll mess with that. Uh, invisibility and mist. Oh, mist is still here. 
I remember that was a thing on touch. And it looks like uh places a glyph that makes a lot. okay, so it's just regular just OG mist. Uh toxines. Applies end of turn air poisoning on the targeted enemy. While while the poison is active. If the targeted enemy suffers trap damage, the spell damage increases. And the poison is reapplied. You know what? Let's let's mess with that too. Uh, cruelty Jinx. Jinx deals HP in the water element and minimizes the target's enemy's random effects. Heals at okay, so there's a lot of healing going on with the water wound. Heals allies up to 50% of the damage on okay. So this is like the, um... oh, there's Jinx. <laughs> uh, so we've always had Jinx, like, like that was like the class spell you would get at the uh, temple, right? And it would just like, uh, uh, whatever you cast it on, you know, it, 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 it would guarantee they would always get like the minimum roll on it. So we got that on touch, and it's an agility spell. But here, it's a water spell. That steals. Okay, oh, that, sounds, that sounds interesting. It's interesting and fascinating. Okay, so we mess with the double. So if you go to it with the double, it kind of like, it, it swaps places w with you. I don't know if that's good or bad, but I like the pl plotter. I don't know. Uh, tricky trap, way waylaying. Attracts the target towards the caster. Attracts the target towards the caster's double. And steals HP in the water element. I mean, it makes sense that uh, Serenz would be stealing HP and stuff like that, right? There, there are kind of. Bunch of thieves. Uh, heals allies up to 50% of the damage inflicted on the target enemy in a two day. Okay, you know what? We'll, we'll mess with that. We'll mess with that. Uh, epidemic applies uh, an end of turn poison on the targeted enemy and applies the epidemic signal on the enemy. At the end of the target's turn, spreads. Okay, so this is to subvert the caster's. Okay, so that's just regular epidemic. We used to have this on touch. It's not effect, static summons, okay. My level in trap. Break in. And a can we stop? No. No, yeah, we could choose. Uh break in, inflicts fire damage and reduces pushback resistances. Interesting. Ooh, there's another Another earth trap here. Frightful trap. Places a single cell trap and inflicts earth damage on enemies and repels entities in a three cell cross. Okay, we'll mess with that. Uh, paralyzing trap. Just regular paralyzing trap. I like mass grave. Uh, shakedown. Steal strength and inflicts earth damage. Oh, okay. So so each kind of elements of branch has a spell where it kind of steals that element. Kind of straightforward. Uh, con raiding. Another water spell. Heals allies except the caster. It's another kind of AoE healing sort of spell. We'll try it. Larceny. So I did like uh, Dofus Touch version of Larceny uh, on Touch. It was a uh, a range agil uh, not agility, uh, intelligence spell that would kind of like nudge um, the target like out of like corners and stuff like that. I thought it was so cool. Let's see if it does the same thing. Larceny steals chance and inflicts water damage in an area of effect. 
No, it's a, it doesn't work the same. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll mess with it. We'll mess with it. Toxic injection. Agility Saram is definitely like the poison Saram. That seems to be true here, as well as well as in touch. Applies a sort of turn air poison on the target. The spell's cooldown period is reduced for each of the caster's trigger traps. Okay, just another applies it, and it's just another poison. Stack them up. Fear, ooh, misconstrual. Switches the position of the target and the caster's double. No, we'll mess with it. And sadly, we're not a. Uh, we're not a uh, high level enough to try some of these here, but you know what? That uh, we have to come back to them. But yeah, let's let's pop back in there. Okay, so what do we get? Larceny. Oh, I like that animation. I do like how even though it doesn't, it, it sh it, when it uh, the, when the animations kind of trigger off, it kind of shows where like the splash damage would be. Okay, so if my double, okay, let's end. Okay, so let's put that double here. Okay, put him there. If I do this here, I didn't heal him. Oh, it steals chance. Okay, this is not a healing thing. It steals chance. Okay, it's just a straight up uh, direct damage. Move. Okay, pretty cool. Ah, toxins. Put that on you. Poison. And the poison is reapplied. Okay, so right now he's got one turn on the poison. But if he triggers a trap, uh, pushing spell, where are you? Pushing, pushing. Did I change it out? I probably did. Uh, you know what? We'll do this. I'm gonna... All right. <laughs> I had to bring it forward. I think I switched my... Uh... Did I really switch all my pushing spells? And you know what? We could drift them. We could drift them. All right, so let's do that. Let's do the top scenes. Okay, all right. Look at that. I'm getting, I'm getting the hang of it. I'm getting the hang of it. Let's do that. Okay. So talk scenes here. Five to seven. One turn. What if I... What does it say now? Twelve to ten. Two turns. Okay, that's interesting. So it's kind of like you apply talk scenes and you kind of want to keep the spell... Um running by again doing the whole trap shenanigans and stuff to to maintain the toxins on on your target super interesting toxin state one okay uh, what if i do let's do that Toxic state two. Ooh, this is man. I've I bet some people be doing some broken stuff with this. This is so cool. All right, uh, rating. Steals HP and water element. Heals allies. 
Oh, okay, so it's like a short. Okay, let's put this guy out here. If I do a rating on this guy, he's got a heal the belt. Yep. Super cool. A mistake, we looked at that. Waylaying. Okay, so here, let's. Let's give ourselves a little bit of wiggle room here. Come on, move. Okay, uh, he died. Let's, let's get him back up. Okay, so if I hit him with this. And move towards the double. Okay, so if I move the double over here. It's like a it's like a magnet spell. It's another kind of funky position spell. It was returned, yeah. Pushback? No pushback? Nope. Uh, it's kind of funky. It's interesting. Kind of funky. Okay, so we got this fear. Not fear. Swiss pushes position of the target and the caster's double. Alright, so let's bring the double back up. This is linear. Okay, so if I do it's like a little magic trick. <laughs> Abracadabra. Okay, so how would you use this? Is this another um, trap opener or trap starter? So let's here, let's do this. Okay, you know what? Let's try this again. Okay, so if I put my double here and okay, I need my other shoot. You know what? Let's just keep it simple. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay, so is the punching bag gonna trigger the trap? Even though, we'll see. Oh, okay. No, it doesn't trigger the trap. I can see where you would so so my my thought was like so one thing i did struggle a little bit when i was playing the the intelligence ram on epsilon was that um you know my trap networks i would usually have to do them like around or pretty close to like the enemies and there was a lot of times where where they would accidentally like trigger my trap stuff right so i was thinking maybe Here, let's, let's do this. I was thinking maybe you set your double here and you start building your your trap network here, right? I guess it still works that way in in, in a sense, right? Because you could you could put them right in the middle of like this mine minefield, right? And so I could go here and then. And then he stuck over. There. Okay, I see. A break in. Inflicts fire damage and reduces pushback resistance. Let's see, let's see how that looks. Oh, 
Oh, this has a long, this is a big range. What is that, Eno's key? <laughs> Did he be stealing the, the Unitrov key? Uh, I don't know how I feel about this. I was hoping this would have like a cool animation, but it's kind of, I'll pass on this, I'll pass on this. Uh, Lisa Trap, Frightful Trap. The damage is greater on entities with less. Oh, okay, so we did see this. No. Oh, my bad. I was looking at Lethal Trap. Okay. Places a single target trap that inflicts earth damage on an enemy and repels entities in a three cell cross. Oh, okay. So this is like the. This is like the opposite of the water, that water trap. So this is gonna. Oh, it's super cool. I can see myself using that pretty often. It, oh man, this ceram has so many tools. So why do you do? I mean, I do enjoy how like focus. Uh, and kind of straightforward the builds on Duffus Touch are. But like I said before, it feels like everything is useful here. Like it doesn't matter what element it is. Like it feels like everything, everything in, in the Seraph's toolbox is like, I need to have it here because I, I might need it. You never know. <laughs> so this is a cool trap. So, so Frightful Trap is like, uh, what was the other trap called? Sick rap? Uh, yeah, so it's the opposite of this one. And it's pushback. I wonder if there's any like pushback shenanigans here too. Uh, Mass grave, we saw that. Shakedown. Okay, so this is like the uh, just direct damage, still strength. Does that have cool animation? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, sick trap. Oh, so we have it here. Yeah, so frightful trap. What happens if you put these two together? Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, what else we got? Drift Trap, we saw that. Cruelty. Inflicts water damage and gives the caster one in. Wait, is this the little bubble? That's not very cruel. Splash him with some water. <laughs> uh, rate, okay, rating was the one. No, we, we looked at this one. Wait, is this another pushing spell? No, we saw. Oh, yeah, we did. Okay. Cutthroat increases the casters and their allies' power in a two cell circle around the caster. Okay, so let's bring this guy out just so he's not in the corner. Okay, look at me. I'm already making some. Uh, some plays over here. Okay. Uh, cut through. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What the heck was that? Cutthroat increases the caster's and allies' power in a two cell around around the caster. Okay, so we put a. Okay, let's put the guy in there. If I use this, that spell was so cool. And this guy has power, right? And he does. That is so cool. 
like I said, like even, even though I'm, I, you know, I won't be playing intelligence. Just throwing this spell out just for the power bonus makes it worth it. Just having on, just this is so cool, guys. It is so cool. <clears throat> Do it again. Okay, this is stack. That is so interesting. Okay, and then we have I think we I think that's all furrow we looked at furrow. All right, I think we looked at everything here. I think this was I think this was such a cool like first kind of look at the uh, PC Saram. And uh, man, it's, it is so different from Touch. Uh, but I am gonna do uh, Earth Earth Saram just because uh, you know, like I said, part of the reason why I'm diving out to PC is because I wanna you know. I, f I finished my, my characters I started back in like 2006, uh, 2007, right? Get these guys up to level 200, get them some cool gear, uh, get them doing some, some cool stuff. Oh, and that's the wrong trap. Okay, that's super cool. It is so cool. Uh, all right, folks. I think we I think we're at the hour mark or close to the hour mark. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed uh, this kind of quick look at the PC Saram. I know you know we didn't look at all the spells. But I think we got a good feeling about the Saram here. Uh, all the builds seem like they implement the traps in some capacity. Uh, the Earth uh, build definitely feels like a, more of a damage build, I want to say. And again, if I'm wrong, uh, let me know in the comments. I, I don't like that key. That key is the worst. <laughs> <laughs> the key and the little water bubble. The worst spells. Uh, here, let's finish this guy off here. Uh, of course, the uh, poison stuff with the agility. I'm not exactly sure what the intelligence wants to do. Right? Are we missing intelligence spells? This one pushes and pushing and pushes. Maybe, maybe it's like a like a pushing sort of thing. Uh, obviously, you could build like the trap networks with like the tricky traps and stuff like that. But and then the water one seems like a support type of thing. It's weird because like. Intelligence has a cutthroat, but also the water. It has a lot of it has a lot of like um, health steals and like a lot of like uh, uh, AOE healing. Man, I'm not. It's interesting that you can make a water serum. So I don't know, but I'm just not feeling the animations on. That one's cool. I like that. I like that animation. And what's um, obviously the thing about here PC too is. And one of the reasons why I always went strength and agility is because, you know, agility increases lock and dodge and stuff like that. 
and especially back in the day uh you could throw out the double all right and just like indefinitely just lock mobs while you like you pick at them um yeah now i'm debating should i go full strength for now on mix I could just reset my. It doesn't. It doesn't even matter. I could just reset my stats at any time. <laughs> um, all right, folks. All right, I'm gonna wrap this up for reals now. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'll probably do the same thing for the other characters. I have uh, an Inu. I have an Osa and any. I want to take a look at. And I'll probably do the same thing. I'll just kind of mess with them. Play with the spells. Hope you guys enjoy that. It's so cool. But uh, until next time, this has been Channel GX. Take care of yourself and peace.